we've had a good number of requests to show how to do loudness normalization, or that is making your dialogue audio louder using Audacity for those that don't have the budget for, say, for example, Adobe Audition. So there are a lot of limitations, which is why I don't typically use Audacity for doing this type of thing. But it can do it to some extent. Let me show you how. When you first open an audio clip in Audacity, it looks like this. The first recommendation I'd make is come up to this menu here and change the view to Waveform DB. You can see the waveform looks a little different. And now we actually have a scale here that shows us the amplitude of the waveform, which will be important in our next step. Our next step is Effect, come to Compressor. If you don't know much about compression, and this is a new concept to you, I highly recommend you come over to one of our other videos here where we talk about compression in much more detail. Uh, but for now, the main idea is that anything above this little window here, these waveforms, I want to kind of push these down and even them up. And the reason I want to do that is that once I've done that, I will take the overall waveform and make it, that'll allow us to push it up higher, <laughs> make the amplitude larger so that it overall will sound louder. So hopefully that's not too confusing. That's what we're going to do here. So everything above this line right here, which is minus 30 dB, I want that to actually get compressed and kind of squashed down a little bit. So we set our threshold to minus 30. We'll go ahead and leave noise floor at minus 65. Ratio, three to one is good. Attack time, 0.1 second. Release time, one second. Go ahead and click OK. And watch what happens to the waveform. See how it sort of smashed it down some? Our next step is to come up here to Effect, choose Normalize. All right, inside of our Normalize panel here, we'll go ahead and leave Remove DC Offset checked. We will check Normalize Maximum Amplitude to minus two dB. If it's not at minus two, go ahead and set it to that. And then we will click OK. What this will do is this will amplify the entire waveform so that the hottest peak or the loudest part, again, not technically true, but the loudest part or the highest amplitude will come up to minus 2 dB. And it will bring everything else up in relation to that, making our overall audio seem louder. So go ahead and click OK. And you can see it definitely grew those, those uh, waveforms there. All right, let's do a before and after. So I'm going to come here to what the file was before. And let me just play a little section here for you. Sennheiser touts the dynamic range of the AVX system. And what that means in practical terms is that it's able to capture much louder sounds without distorting relative to a lot of other systems. Now, Sennheiser touts the dynamic range of the AVX system. And what that means in practical terms is that it's able to capture much louder sounds without distorting relative to a lot of other systems. Now. Okay, you can see how that definitely made it perceptually much louder. So I hope you found that helpful. I'm sure there'll be lots of questions. Go ahead and leave those down below. I've no, I haven't really done a lot of Audacity tutorials in the past, so let's see what people are interested in. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do that. We'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.